so here you just have to place the rectangular prism and we drill the outline so after drawing the outline we have to measure the width of the prism which is this that's from here to here and that's w so we measure that to be 6.30 centimeter then after that we also measure the length of dc because we have to label the prism a b c d so then we measure dc so in order to put our normal here according to the instruction in the question we have to find half i mean one fourth of the length one over four of the length which was here so when we place it here we have to draw a straight line through the point now after that we replace the prism then fix you know we have to draw before we replace the prism we, we measure an angle 10 degree away from this normal then we draw a straight line on that and fix two pin on those on that line then we now place the prism back then we place a play mirror at the back of this prism the play mirror was placed at the back of the prism there was a play mirror placed at the back to fit exactly to the back so after doing that we allow the setup to stand still while we observe the image of these two pins around this side when we look through this side so we observe the image and we fix two other pins in such a way that they be on a straight line with these ones so we fix two other pins here we make it we use uh, the pin to make a mark here then we remove the opening and draw a line that follows the part of those pin to this particular line uh, dc so after doing that we locate the center of this place too and mark it as q then from this normal here from this point we drew a line going to that center and from the line here we drew a line going to that center so that forms this triangle as we are saying and this angle then after that we drew a normal through this point so that was how you got this so the normal was labeled o prime and n prime so why the normal here is o to n then angle i here is what incident so the angle formed between the two lines we have drawn here is theta meanwhile we also have angle between the normal we drew and the line here to be e then we are also told to measure the distance from the normal here from this point here to this point here that's as d so we got i in the table theta here and we got angle of emergence here which we measured to measure the angle 10 here you just you just have to place your 90 like this then you count from 90 to 80 that's 10 so you draw your line so when we wanted to measure the angle here also we place 90 like this yeah and making sure it's on that line so after placing it we count 